We're originally on the site of St Mary's Abbey, which was built in 1139. It would have been one of the most important buildings in medieval Dublin. It, it has disappeared underneath the streets of Dublin. And as Dublin grew and expanded in the 17th and 18th century, the, the abbey was picked apart, stone by stone. Those stones were reused in all sorts of buildings here. So that's actually a, a, a floor from the, from the late 17th, early 18th century. So in that sweep, you kind of have the 19th century, the 17th and the 18th century, and then you're back into the 12th, 13th, 14th century. Most of these skeletons are medieval and they date from sometime between 1200 and 1540. How many bodies have you taken out of here? So far, I think we're at 209. And these guys are the last ones of the graveyard here. We take them up upstairs, give them a good wash, catalog them, and then they go off to our osteologist and she pieces them back together, get more information from them and eventually they get uh, boxed up and uh, go off to swords in, in a warehouse. Swords is the final resting place? The swords is the final resting place, yeah. The job of the osteologist is to tell their individual story and then by telling their individual story, because we have actually quite a collection of um, medieval skeletons from the site dating from 1200 to about 1500. You know, we can do a little bit of population statistics on what the average age of death was at the time. We can look at stature, how well nourished they were. We can look at what ailments we had. Some ailments present on the bones. Uh, so there's quite a job of study in researching those. This building here, which is the meeting house, uh, was built in 1667 which was substantially rebuilt in the 18th century. And so these blocks here, this is Dublin limestone kelp. And so more than likely as they took down the, the medieval abbey, they just literally reused the stone and, and rebuilt these walls. But, you know, a significant change in the site happened around 1882 when the Bolands bought a whole series of plots at the back of their shop on Capel Street and they started acquiring all former properties and this was converted into a bakery. And so this ironwork in here that you can see dates from 1882 when it was converted into, uh, into an industrial building. So this, this building would have been a bakery in 1882. So these are the ovens from the bakery. Uh, and you can see they had different names. That one's St. Joseph's, I think that's St. Jude's. But this was the headquarters for Riverdance. The Riverdance had their dance studios within the meeting house. They just relayed floors over the existing floors, and so this is their base. Well, yeah, the meeting house building is very famous. There's a, there's a chapter in Ulysses that's set in, in the meeting house. And in some ways, it was probably better known in the 19th century than today. I think if you talk to people or just your average dubs about St. Mary's Abbey, they'd know about Abbey Street and Mary Street, but they wouldn't sort of see this as being you know, the Christ Church of the North Side. And it's that, that's kind of what's exciting. It's that, it's that a medieval building that was once one of the most important buildings in the country, you know, certainly in Dublin, has sort of, is starting to re-emerge and some of its story is starting to get told again. This project is ultimately going to comprise a hotel with associated bar and restaurant along with, along the lane, some other F&B outlets. So, this will be the sort of hotel lobby with a Taylor and Clay restaurant and an open plan bar area, um, which will, you know, so you'll still see all of the sort of higher level stuff you'll, you'll be able to see, although some of this may be covered up. We're going to reopen this lane, which hasn't been open to the public to pass through for more than 140 years. Um, and then on the other side, in the meeting house, that will be a bar. In the room that with the ovens, mm -hmm. um, that will be a cocktail bar. And again, you'll still, you know, that will retain a lot of its character and its original features. And in between the two of those, there'll be a, like an outdoor area somewhere where people can eat and have a drink and sit outside. Mm -hmm.